Well, this is pretty exciting considering I didn't think I'd ever find this footage or nor would I even hear the audio for this tape until the movie came out or until they posted an official clip of it online. But we actually have the eye trap tape that was exclusively shown at the Saw X panel at Midsummer Scream last weekend. Now, I don't know exactly how much of this I'll be allowed to show or how I'm going to be allowed to show it or have you guys listen to it because... One, this was actually sent to me by one of you guys who were kind enough to reach out to me on Twitter and send me a message or tweet directly at me letting me know that you had a very special thing for Saw X that you'd like to show me. And of course, I let you send me a message. Please, if you guys have anything Saw X related that I haven't talked about or that I haven't discussed at all, I would encourage you to please send me a message on Instagram or to tweet directly at me on Twitter or anything like that. Hell, add me on Snapchat and send me a message via there so therefore I'll be able to see it. Seriously, if you have anything regarding Saw X that I haven't covered at all, please reach out to me, let me know, and I'll cover it on the channel if I can. This one's a little bit iffy. I don't know how exactly I'm going to cover it or how I'm going to talk about it or anything along those lines for the reason that this is an exclusive clip that was actually shown at Saw, um, what is it, the Saw panel at Midsummer Scream. This comes from the eye trap where someone has to sacrifice their fingers, where they have to break them one by one, or they lose their eyes. We saw this on the poster. We saw this ever so briefly in a few shots in the trailer. We had a behind the scenes look at the trap that I talked about in the most recent video as well that I think is really cool. But here we actually have the tape that was played that Jigsaw made for the victim. I'm going to try and play the clip for you and if that works and YouTube doesn't fucking smack me in the face with it, hey, a happy dandy joyous times and have it subtitled because I've been listening to this tape or this audio for ages trying to make out what the hell Jigsaw was saying in translator. Because this does actually come from a live stream from another YouTube channel from members that are very, very big fans of Saw, it seems. If you guys can make out what they're saying and everything, because it's in a foreign language to myself, at least it's not in English. I believe it's Spanish. Go check them out. They seem like they are massive Saw fans. They're doing a lot of coverage themselves. Maybe some stuff that I haven't picked up on or some stuff that I don't know. Please go support them because this is where it is from. I want to give full credit to them for having it online. It was in their live stream when they were actually watching another live stream of someone that was in attendance at the Saw X panel who was seemingly kicked out for actually live streaming and recording the trailer and the exclusive clip, which they were advised not to do because he was warned and he didn't listen. So... Good on him for being an idiot, but thank you for being an idiot because now we have this. <laughs> I'm worried that this could get flagged in some way. I'm worried that it could actually get smacked with a copyright strike or a claim. So if need be, if I'm not able to show any of the audio at all, well, I'll just show the translation and read it out and decipher what I think it means. El clip. A ver, a ver. Es una, es la trampa inicial. Sí. El adelanto que solo vamos a ver desde la sierra de Kramer, aunque sea solo audio, es lo que estáis escuchando ahora. Como no se ve nada, voy a cambiar de, de esto. Vale, he cambiado la captura porque la persona que lo está filtrando no, no está mostrando nada solo. ¿Es la misma de hace rato o es otra? Se oyen gritos, una trampa en movimiento se ha activado después de un mensaje de Jigsaw. Suena de fondo la música de Charlie Closer. Oh. La gente grita. ¿Ha visto algún desmembramiento o alguna cosita? Qué maravilla. El sonido es bestial. La gente vuelve a corear, a gritar, porque lo que están viendo les está flipando. La gente está flipando. Ya 
Kramer, estoy tentado a preguntarte si es lo que realmente pensabas. Lo que, lo que dijimos hace meses. So that's the tape right there. So I've actually translated it as best as I could. There were a few sections in there where I was not able to make out what it was um, Jigsaw was saying. Either it was for the reason that the guys were talking over the top and I couldn't make out what they were saying or what was going on in the tape at all. Um, I also couldn't make out what it was being said in certain moments when they weren't talking because in certain points it is inherently muffled due to it being recorded seemingly on a phone and also in an auditorium where it would be echoing a lot. But to go through it bit by bit, the opening of course says, I want to play a game. And following that, I couldn't make out what the hell it was saying for the reason that it was inherently muffled and I couldn't I couldn't hear anything. I was I was sitting there listening back and forth, replaying the same 10 seconds of audio over and over again, literally grabbing my earphones and fucking smushing them into my ears like this. Couldn't make out what he's saying, but following that, it basically says, with those sticky fingers of yours, I have my eye on you. In fact, I don't like what I see. Your job as a custodian is a noble one, sanitizing and sterilizing the hospital, helping patients who are sick, but there is a sickness inside you that needs to be exiled. You have the ability and then I couldn't make out what was coming after that at all. It was really difficult to hear once again. This time it seemed to be a combination of them talking in certain moments and also due to it being incredibly muffled. But it follows with, all you have to do is push the dial across the five positions and you will live. Gonna make out what came after that? And then he says, you have 60 seconds. Now, I really like this because it goes back to the traditional very short time span of around about 60 seconds. It's not compete against another person and you might live like in Saw 6, no matter how much I love Saw 6, I have never been a fan of the really long trap sequences that take way too long on a time limit or choosing who lives or dies. I'm gonna bring up Saw 6 again in regards to the shotgun carousel, although that one does make sense admittedly. And I love the way that plays towards the story and the moral and the message that John Kramer aka Jigsaw before his death rode out to get across to William Easton. But there's also with the janitor and the, um, you know, <laughs> you know, William Easton at the first opening trap of, well, not the first opening trap, but the first trap that William Easton's test where, you know, it's the breathing trap, the oxygen trap, where if you breathe, the clamps get closer and you die. Hank didn't get a fucking fair chance because he was a smoker. That was his chance for redemption, Jigsaw. But at the same time, I think it is really cool that this trap is going back to that. It also confirms that it is just him, which I think is great. I don't want him competing with another person. He has to break all five of his fingers on his right hand by selecting the dial one by one, as I predicted from the set photo posted yesterday on my recent video. And with each dial flick and going across the numbers, it will break another finger. Again, I do have to question, this is one of the easier traps in concept, I'll say. Why not just Mexican wave that shit and have one shot of pain rather than one, two, three, four, five? Because from the trailer, it seems like it goes Number one, being his pinky down to his fucking thumb. God, imagine having your thumb broken like that, just up like, oh no. But I think the most interesting part of this is that in the audio, you do hear the suction, meaning he does die, he doesn't survive. From my count, I only heard three finger breaks, meaning in the trailer, the three fingers that we see broken are the fingers that are broken. They're the only ones that he manages to break. Don't hesitate. Now, in a situation like this, I know a lot of people on Reddit in particular and Twitter are like, how did he fail? How is he failing? Probably one of the easiest traps in the entire series. You gotta remember as well that this is a high panic situation and you'd be hyperventilating. Your life is on the line and you're having to inflict such pain on yourself. Have you ever tried breaking your own bone in any way? Fuck that. You're not Aaron Ralston. You're not fucking putting your arm like this and levering it to break your arm when it's trapped between a boulder. And at that point, you've got so much adrenaline running through your body that it wouldn't matter to you. But in this, you're not dying until after the timer goes down, apparently. But you do also hear the suction. And what's interesting is it's not both at the same time. Because if you have them both at the same time, it seems almost comedic now that I look back or more think back to the general concept of everything. I think it's more horrifying that it's a one by one, that it gets stronger and stronger as the trap gets on and you hear the little vacuum go and then you hear that la gente la gente está flipando and you hear the eyeball get fucking plucked out and hearing that audience in that auditorium fucking squirm and scream and everything was actually very satisfying don't ask me why. But at the same time, and then you hear the second one. It's a one by one, so it's even more painful, and he loses them one after another at the end of the timer. It's not like he loses one at the 30 second mark, which 
It could have been that. That would have been horrifying. But at the same time, I think it's more fitting that it's at the end and it's a one by one. It's a slow, painful process. And someone from there posted on Reddit as well. I can't find it for the life of me now. Maybe it was removed. But I saw something where they described that you can actually see the eyeball sort of flailing around in the tube for a little bit because this guy was in attendance. That's disgusting. But this is really, really cool. Like, I'll read out what I was able to translate once again for you guys. I want to play a game with those sticky fingers of yours. I have my eye on you. In fact, I don't like what I see. Your job as a custodian is a noble one, sanitizing and sterilizing the hospital, helping patients who are sick. But there is a sickness inside you that needs to be exiled. You have the ability, blank, 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 blank. All you have to do is push the dial across five positions and you will live. You have 60 seconds. He doesn't even say, I don't think, live or die, make your choice. It's literally do or die. He doesn't even say, make, live or die, make your choice. It's do it, mate. Just fucking do it. You've got 60 seconds. And I love that. I know that there is a trap here that has a three minute time, uh, time limit, but that makes a little more sense from what I can tell. That is actually the brain surgery trap. But if it goes back to the shorter time limits for these traps, I'm okay with that. The traps don't necessarily need to be long to be memorable. It's the panic inducing adrenaline in the moment and how inventive these traps are, and also the gore as well, that makes them memorable and so iconic. Like Amanda had 60 seconds. You also have um Mike in the beginning of Saw 2. He has 60 seconds. There are a lot of traps in the franchise like Paul's and Saw 1, which go on for a solid couple hours for him to make his way through. He was given two hours, but at the same time, that made sense for that trap, and it isn't overplayed like a lot of traps with a longer time limit. It is literally there, they montage through it, and we know the end result. So I'm okay with this. This is really interesting. To decipher what he could have done, I'd be stupid to even attempt to do because I couldn't make out all the audio. It, it's fascinating to me. It really fucking is. I love the idea of this trap. It's really unique. It might be simple and quote-unquote easy in concept to beat, but the adrenaline, the panic, and also the pain level involving this trap would also be excruciating. Anyone knows this who's broken a bone? I've broken fingers. It's not fucking fun. So guys, what do you think of the Saw 10 eye trap tape? I want to see what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. And please give me your theories as to what the trap could actually be and why he's actually in there. Because we know this is the um, the orderly or the janitor more than anything of the um, hospital that they work at. This is really cool. It's sort of going a Zepp Hindle route almost, but in a more gruesome fashion rather than slow and, hey, kill this mother and daughter if this guy fails his game. No, this time it's more along the lines of, you fucked up, you've done something, you could have been better, and now you're being tested, and I love that. So guys, please comment down below what your theories are as to what he did to warrant being in this trap. I look forward to posting more Saw X um, content very, very soon. I've also got my reaction to 13 Ghosts, Scream Episode 5, maybe a review for Gran Turismo. The embargo doesn't lift until Tuesday. I have seen the movie, but I... I, I... <laughs> I don't know if I want to, it's not the type of movie that I really feel like reviewing. I don't really have much input to provide on it, if I'm being honest. But I'm excited nonetheless for all the content coming out very soon, as well as my Saw 2 18 years later video. Thank you all so much for watching. Look out for more videos very soon, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.